Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Putz and I am your IT career guide. In today's video I want to ask the question, is the CompTIA a certification worth the effort for these five jobs? So there are five specific jobs that I have in mind that I want to talk about in today's video. So before we get into the video, if you don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. But now let's get started. So what are these five jobs I want to talk about today? So I'm talking about working for the help desk, working as a field service technician, working as a PC technician, doing desktop support, or doing the higher level IT support. So those are the five roles and jobs I want to talk about. And if you look at the A plus certification, there are overlapping pieces where you could say, yes, the A plus certification is definitely worth the effort to get one of these five jobs. But I want to go into that detail. So let's get going. So all these five jobs are entry level positions. You can expect a salary between 15 and 22, maybe $25 in range. And of course, if you start at the help desk level, which is more like a call center type position, you're at the lower range. PC technicians and field services technicians, probably not much difference as well. So for a field service technician, think about somebody going out on behalf of Dell or HP and replacing computer hardware or delivering a spare part for replacement. So those are not really the really challenging tasks that can demand a higher salary. So these are low paying entry level jobs. You're just learning the ropes before you can move up into the more challenging desktop type of support positions or into systems administration. So that's really the base knowledge that we want to have for these five jobs. So entry level 15 to $25 per hour and that's about it. So now let's find out why or if these positions are really worth the effort to get the A plus certification. So you should take a look at the A plus certification if you have absolutely zero experience in the IT field. So you have not done any type of computer troubleshooting or built computers or worked in any type of capacity in this field. So that's where the A plus certification comes in really helpful because it provides you with the base knowledge. So it's about hardware, it's about the base operating system, even some information security. So really the base knowledge. And with that knowledge, yes, uh, you should have no problems finding in your first call center job in a help desk or even becoming a field service technician or PC technician. Of course, you wanna build up the confidence. So maybe have like your own computer lab at home where you buy old computers from Facebook or Craigslist and then really experiment at home and take them apart and put them back together and make sure they still work. So that's where the A plus certification is definitely worth the effort. And I highly recommend if that's where you are with zero knowledge or almost no knowledge, that's where you wanna go. So, but how about a position in desktop support? Is it really worth the effort to still go and get the A plus certification from CompTIA? And in my opinion, no, the effort is not worth it. If you are already working in desktop support and you have 12 months or more in work experience, there's no reason for you to get the A plus certification. If you wanna move up into systems administration or any other area of information technology, your time is better spent looking for a certification in just those areas. So let's say you wanna to go towards Microsoft 365, you wanna look at the different positions that are available. So you're looking for job descriptions and then you're looking for a skill set. And with that skill set, you can go to Microsoft's website and you start looking at the certifications that they offer related to Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Cloud Services. So anything in that area that really makes sense, where you have some knowledge already and where it's really then easy to make that connection and that will help you to move up into systems administration or whatever other area you're after in information technology. So skip the A plus certification. You don't need it at that point and just look at something higher, challenge yourself a little bit. But also with that, you can show really that you are willing to work hard and move up and that you have the drive. So that will signal a potential employer or even internally that you have what it takes. The same thing applies to IT support. But if you are in IT support, it's a more well-rounded position. And the question is, where do you wanna go with your career from here? Do you wanna stay in IT support, become a senior level or maybe even a team lead or a manager? 
then the A-plus certification potentially could help you because if you start leading a team and become a team lead or a manager, you want to make sure that you have the appropriate level of knowledge, that you understand what your team is talking about, that you are able to mentor people and show people how things are being done. So it's very critical when you want to become a team lead or an IT manager, help desk manager, service desk manager, to have at least that understanding. Also, carrying this credential will help you establish really the, the right presence with your team so that your team knows, no, he or she knows what he or she is talking about. That person is certified and I look up to that with respect and also with the desire to reach the same level. So you're setting really a, an example of what is possible, what is doable. So the a certification can be an important tool in your tool belt for that. It shouldn't be your only certification though. You want to look at IDLE certification, so ITIL version 4, just the foundation probably will do the trick for the beginning. You might take one of the more advanced certifications there, but look at it and map it out so that you build a solid foundation and then add the appropriate steps on top of it that will take you to that next level. So definitely look at that, map it out before you go for A+. So if you realize, no, I know this by heart and I can mentor people and, and I know that I I have what it takes, you might skip it. But on the other side, yeah, if you have a certain set of credentials, it will open the door if you are looking for a job somewhere else. Another reason not to look at the a certification by CompTIA is really if it takes you a longer time to learn something new. So let's say you're not sure where you, to, where you wanna go with your career. And yeah, the a certification, there are two exams, uh, you don't know how long it will take you. Will it take you three months, six months, nine months, a year? If you don't know, then question yourself, is this the right certification for you? And if you already know you don't want to stay with a help desk or you're looking for higher goals right away, then look at like courses at community colleges or look for boot camps in certain areas and rather spend a little money in those areas, spend the same amount of time, but walk away with a much better credential under your belt. So really look at what type of community colleges are around, what services and courses do they offer? Is there something where you can take a couple of classes that maybe get you to the goal or even like a certification course where they have their own certificate that they provide you with or even go for a small degree if you have time and money and it's worth the effort. A boot camp might be more expensive but a boot camp really gives you that focused uh, type of learning and usually within three to six months you walk away with a skill set that is really um, looking for something out there where you have suddenly a skill set that is in demand. Look for the right level of education there. So before you spend money and time on the A-plus certification and just drag it along, take a look at community college classes and courses, take a look at boot camps and see if maybe there's a better option for your career. So that's really what I wanted to do with this video. Showcase you five jobs where potentially the A-plus certification comes in helpful. But also if you are already in this field a little bit, take a look at different ways to obtain knowledge and credentials and then use that to your advantage so that you can move up into the area of information technology where you want to be. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't so and then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.